watching and listening to Breakfast with Stephen and Ellie. The time has just gone 8.36. Hello, Zeta. I'm just dragging up the paper list so I can see what we're doing because it's time for the papers now with writer and columnist Emma Wolf and legendary radio presenter, broadcaster, singer and all-round entertainer Pete Price. And he thinks he's a comedian as well. Uh, oh, 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 I'm going to start I'm with getting, you, Pete. I'm getting my own back because I haven't seen you for months. <laughs> Uh, it's a joy to have you back. Well, you have me. died on my backside a few times. That means when you've had a bad time on stage. Oh, I bet you yeah. have. Oh, I have. I've walked off to my own footsteps. And have you? Oh, you know all that is. But that's how you learn your trade. It's showbiz. That's showbiz. Showbiz. And we're talking about showbiz. We're talking about theatre. Uh, did I lead you in story. there? That was well, very nice yeah. segue, Pete. Very nice, yes. Because theatre audiences could be made to lock up their phones. Yep, uh, theatre audiences. A, yeah, it's a, it's a row going on. It's in The Guardian. Tell us about this. Yeah, but it, it's a suggestion after Naked photos of James Norton on stage uh, in A Little Life were published on uh, the Mail Online and the images were quickly taken down. I think what's interesting about this story is it opens a man minefield with theatres. I go to the theatre all the time this week. I've been seeing Bodyguard and I've been seeing a new play at the Playhouse and I'm sick to death of people walking up and down the staff saying stop that filming, stop the photographs. And in America um, when we were in Vegas last time, um, they take your phones off you now. They right. actually put them in a bag. It's a lot of work, but it's ridiculous. And then you get these people in concerts who video yeah. the whole Drunk concert, dance. don't even watch the concert. So yeah. why pay for all that, the tickets? But this is right. It, it's intrusive when you're on stage. And it's also a pain in the so-and-so when somebody's got their camera on and it's bright lights. Then we'll go on to, forget that, we'll go on to sweets. And I, I stood up in the theatre and I stood up and I said, ladies and gentlemen, the first, first half, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of all the audience here to that lady there, will you unwrap your sweets now before the second half starts? And the place applauded me. Did you really? I did indeed. I think it's disgraceful. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to listen to the and the other thing oh, when you go, go and see go. when you go and see somebody like the bodyguard the woman next to me sings better than her on stage oh, you I'm do. sorry yeah. I paid to see her on stage not you next to me so it's a minefield right so Ooh. glad I got that out of my system um, you needed to I think by the looks of things but um, no that is the most annoying thing when someone has their phone out oh. and yeah. locks it you pay enough for theatre tickets what is the point of going to a live event if you're going to video it <laughs> yeah. you won't ever watch that again. It's like when you go no, you to beautiful don't. places around the world and everybody has their phones out and you think, you're not going to look at those photos. Take a photo, fine. But don't just stand there and video it. Everybody with their phones out, we're not actually experiencing the event itself or the or the sites itself. We're just videoing it pointlessly. Would you support uh, people having their phones locked up when they go to theatre? God, it sounds, it sounds very complicated. Everyone having yeah. their different phones. I want my phone back. You know, just... Well, it will be. It'll be. Could they just turn them off? Well, yeah, people Put them won't, won't turn people them off. You know they won't turn them off. They just won't turn do them as off. they're Put told. Them in the so there's a lovely lady. If they lady, turn them on, yeah. you boot them out. There's a lovely lady in Empire, and I said, how many steps do you do a night? She said, about 5,000. I, with the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's really disruptive. Well, there's loads of places you have to hand... I mean, if you go into Downing Street, you have to hand your phone in. There's little little boxes that you have to put your phones in and things. So why not? Why not? You've been to Downing Street. Oh. I love the way you threw yes. that in. I love that. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Always pop it in to Downing Street. Uh, I haven't been since about 2012, to be fair. It's been a long time, but... Oh, I, I used to go. I used to go. I've been up and down that staircase. Rishi hasn't invited me yet, though. I won't ask about you going up and down the staircase. <laughs> no. the, uh, staying with the, fa the cameras, it's also intrusive when you're out and about and somebody's filming you or videoing you without your permission. Yep. Just ask. If you want a photograph, I'm no one, but if you want a photograph with me, ask and I'll have a photo with the greatest pleasure. But when you get somebody trying to phone you, know, you just video them. I never took your photo. I just watched you walk around. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Invasion of privacy, isn't it? It is. Um, Emma, let's have a look at the time, shall we? And members of the royal family should st could start having to pay for their own accommodation. Yeah, but so it seems that's that's the they own it anyway. The eviction of Harry and Meghan, or eviction, or whatever, they're asking them to not 
politely come back to uh, from Frogmore Cottage. I say cottage, uh. huge, great big place. Anyway, Frogmore Cottage was just the start. We've heard lots about Charles's kind of plans for a sim down monarchy, haven't we? Mm. And it seems as though the king is going to be phasing out subsidised rents for, you know, hangers on. I love this line. Another source from the palace said, the king is not a housing association for distant relatives. You've got royals. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, not a housing association. You've got royals who are really, you've not heard of them. They're not part of the core working royals who are living in huge, huge houses around the country. 30-room, 40-room mansions. It's really... I think it's not on, and so he, he's, you know, he wants to, um, he wants to go go for it on slim down monarchy, and he's going to start asking people either to pay rent, or to even um, set out the um, rent out some of these properties around the royal estate, and to start making the royal family pay its way, which I think is fair enough in the cost. I, li I like him. I like him. I think since his mum died, bless her, um, he's come into his own. Mm. I, I like him, and I like Camilla. I like Camilla very yeah. much, very mm -hmm. much indeed. Really so, looking forward to the coronation as well. I think it's going to be a lot of a lot of fun. Well, I remember the f unlike you three. I remember the first one. Oh, do you? Yeah, I do indeed. I remember the street yeah. parties. I was 13 years old and 13. Sorry, I beg your pardon. No, no, the, sorry, I wasn't Don't 13. Say. No, no, I was 13. I went to number 13, <laughs> and there was 27 of us around a 13-inch television, a black and white television. Oh, yeah. We'd never seen a television before. Before. And then we had the street party outside with jelly and two sandwiches. Oh, well, that sounds nice. lovely. No, I'm looking forward to the You're knocking on, aren't you? I am knocking on. Yeah. You know I'm knocking on. And you keep look reminding great. me. And you look great, Pete. Only because that makeup lady back there. She's good, isn't she? I tell you what, no, in all, in all seriousness, before, before the emails start coming in, you see, I think um, with great age comes great respect. And I think it's. I think we celebrate people getting older. Mm -hmm. I do. Well, I honestly show do. Some respect, because <laughs> if you knew the way he talked to me off camera, it's dreadful. You love it. <laughs> you love it. Uh, let's talk. Well, about, I love you. Let's, let's talk about going on holiday, Pete. In the Express. Yep, big full page holiday hotspots to beat the cost of living crisis. And it's got South Africa, Bulgaria and Turkey. Sadly, they haven't put India in this as well because India is tremendous. It's becoming an amazing place. Yeah. South Africa, uh, they're saying you get more for your pound without any shadow of a doubt and you can get some great deals. I think that South Africa is one of the most wonderful places on this earth. Really? And I think oh. Cape Town Cape is Town. spectacular. Yeah. I've always I been a bit nervous. Oh, so, don't, yeah. don't. Oh, it's wonderful. Don't. Oh, when you discover Cape Town, so you in will like never December, want January, them. it's perfect. Yeah. It's near enough. It's not even, what, 10 hour flight, couple of hours and time difference. And the same difference. time as here, isn't it? Brilliant so, exchange yeah. rate at the moment. Yeah. Cape Town is a gem. And the, the tabletop mountain. Yeah. And the, it was the first wine bar I discovered <laughs> with, no, no, oh, good hundreds of bottles of wine. They've got a machine there that they can take a glass of wine out of a very expensive bottle and then still preserve the wine. Oh. And so you can have any wine you want without buying a bottle. It's just, it's a magnificent and place. And the vineyards around Cape yeah. Town are amazing too. Yeah. You, oh, you just get everything there. And I went there with, I went on tour with Petula Clark all those years ago when apartheid was there and I went after apartheid. Oh, cause and the, the she was interesting because she, she performed in South Africa, didn't she, when people were saying don't, but she was she was saying she wanted to perform yeah. to, uh, to the black same populations as me. We, there. We, yeah. we all wanted to go to, to make our name, our, ourselves known because it was so bad. But I cannot tell you, Stephen, it's, and also where you are in Cape Town, you can go around to Stellenbosch, the wine country, yeah. you can go up to the coast. It's spectacular mm -hmm. and beautiful people. Beautiful people. Oh, well, buy some ticket. People. Are there some bargains to be had? There are indeed. And if you go to your travel agents and have a look, and also Bulgaria, the raving about Bulgaria. But my friends just come back from India. They're, 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 and they said two bottles of wine, a couple of drinks, and a three course meal, 11 quid for two. You chose do me. 11 quid. 11? It's worth the Sounds flight. Nice, isn't it? doesn't it? Yeah. Amazing. Um, what should we finish off with? Um, the Royal... <laughs> well, well, the Waitrose one's quite Waitrose interesting, one sounds I think, quite good, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, this is Waitrose. They're love-bombing their potential shoplifters, apparently. They've had these training events, and they've decided the best way to deter people from thieving 
And by the way, shoplifting is up 22% in the past year. Uh, That's living. Well, I'm not surprised. Yeah. Stores and waitrose say they're losing thousands of pounds a week to theft, mostly through their self-service tills. Yeah. So their staff are getting training in how to love bomb um, thieves. They're, they're being really nice to them and giving them lots of customer service. And apparently that deters them from taking things because they feel so bad and then they don't walk off with it. You just, you just mentioned the self-service tills. I will not go to them. I go to a human being every time because I want to keep them in a job. Everybody well, I know over say, 60 yeah. says they will not use self-service tills. I want, I want to talk tills. to somebody. I want to keep them in a job. It's I love so self-service tills. I love them. Do you? Yeah. Why? Tell me why. Because I can sit round, I can beat with my phone as I'm going, chuck it straight Speak with in the your bag. phone. Oh, you're not one of those that gets the, uh, the that, that trolley thing where you, you get... I just a, beat, I just oh, scan so with Oh, you want to wipe people off the face and of I the earth with And I just get it in the bag and then I'm straight out of the door. Really? Yeah. Really? Look at the face. It's a Barrow and Furnace thing now, is it? No, no, well, no, I don't, well, they, I don't know if they do it up in Barrow. No, they'll have human beings on the till. But I hate, I hate shoplifting because what annoys me is, oh, it's only a bit of shoplifting. It gets people uh, sacked because uh, costings, uh, insurance oh, makes me angry. It does. The only thing I do think is, and, and I'm sure the vast majority of people who shoplift are doing it because they just want to nick, you know, they want to nick it and not pay for it. There will be some people who take things because they yeah, haven't yeah. got any money. Yeah, yeah. And that, that I think needs to be viewed slightly Actually, differently. Actually, yeah, there's a chemist near me and they've been having shoplifting and it's baby food and they I was said we, say, can't, it's often we baby can't do things. anything about yeah. it. We can't do anything about it. Yeah. And I'm sorry I can't talk about this lovely lady who who sang the national anthem and you've got to listen to it it's the most dreadful thing it's you've ever heard very bad. she didn't get the soundtrack in the ear oh right. no you've got to hear it's it not her fault, it's worth it? she, she butchered she, it <laughs> apparently she butchered she the national anthem hysterical oh poor girl Mm. Oh, she she apologised. Yeah. Oh, bless. Well, you had the whole England team watching behind, trying to keep <laughs> oh, a straight face. No. I mean, it is. Um, yeah, it's worth watching. Oh, Her career's it. probably made. It yeah. could well be. Yeah, it could well be. Uh, we've got to leave it there, Emma. Pete, it has been. Can I say a joy yes. for a Saturday? Thank it's a joy to come indeed. here, and she's lovely, and oh, you two are adorable, hello, and I you. just love it. And I we love, love you both. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you.